Hey, Christine, we'll see you later. Starting over from scratch, we got a we got a better idea, but so we got to rebuild the team again because we lost some key players like Clef and Carmelo. So it's going to be a, we're going to start over again. You lose to those two guys, but there, there has been talk that this team is actually even better. You have more seniors this year. Is this team better at least going into camp, going into the season this year than it was last year? Well, uh, we since we have more players, we have a lot more depth, and um, everybody on this team can play. So I mean, just like last year, but now we have even more guys. So. Um, it's just a, it's, it makes us a stronger force. When you win what you won last year, what is now the determination of a successful season rather than an unsuccessful season in your mind? Well, um, to me, we're just going to forget about last year. Like we know we're the champions, but, but you know you can't just go in there with a big head. You gotta you gotta start over from the you gotta just just like last year we started from the bottom and came to the top. And um, we're just not gonna we're just gonna just try and do it all over again. Just that we'll say keep that same mentality. Just last year. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, no, we don't have a question yet. Here we go. What are your Back in the two-three zone, just do everything. I'm not, I'm not looking for expecting huge minutes, but I mean, I'm just gonna try and try and work my hardest to get up. To, you know, trying to see, like, kind of like how Josh Pace played last year, trying to do something like that, come off the bench, kind of provide a little, little force for the team. Spark. Yeah, spark. Yeah. Was last year personally disappointing for you, or you know, coming out of high school, you know, highly out of high school? No, not. Not really. I mean, like you have, we had such a great team. I mean, we had all these guys. We had Carmelo Anthony mm -hmm. and everything. So, you got that one um, no, I, I, that's, that's last year. I'm not really. I'm not even gonna think. Really think about last year. You know. So your personal expectations, just you know. just I just I just keep working hard and see where it takes me. What did you do over the summer? I'm pretty much just lifting weights and played every once in a while. There was a few things that a few trips got canceled, so because the whole war thing. Huh. Where were you planning on going? I was going like uh, over to the Middle East, like somewhere. Oh, yeah? Some place with a thing that didn't fall through. So. Who did you play with? Um, I didn't really know the team. Yeah, it was guys from all over. No, it's not better. It's a different thing. Um, I don't really know. It was like a Bernie, Bernie Fine had, had it all set up. So. Um, have you seen a, a big improvement in your game? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's just strength and everything. Yeah, I do have a question. We're all gone? Someone took it? No, every level was gone. Huh. Did you have enough in that corner? Yes. Okay. How was the audio? Because you don't have the headphones on. It was like, oh, uh, Who else you want to go try to find? Oh, he's from water tank. Here's your mic. I, I'm going to do that with you. We already got a little corner. Alright, want to go over there? What are you going to ask me? Yeah. William Corsity. Freshman. I'm on a tape, so. <laughs> Alright, you're along uh, for the ride for now. So I'll, let, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna grab you. Alright, alright. All right. Okay, um, we're seniors in high school. Um, well, you're junior. And we were just wondering, as a freshman up at Syracuse, how has Syracuse been for you so far? Well, it's definitely been a thrilling experience. I mean, you know, being on campus with all the guys and meeting a lot of people, it's been a lot of fun. And now what attracted you to come to Syracuse University? 
Well, it's just a basketball program, and on my visit, I had a wonderful time just meeting a lot of people. And I just was interested in coming to the institution. Okay. Now, um, do you hope to get a lot of playing time this year? Well, definitely, as a player, you want to get a lot of playing time, but you got to be realistic and realize that you're going to a school with defending national champions, and there's going to be a lot of talent. So, whatever playing time I can get, I'm satisfied. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, what attracted you to coming to Syracuse University? It was a great program, and they just had one the championship, and I wanted to be a part of that and see how that felt. Um, and now, ha do you like Syracuse, not just the university, but the city of Syracuse? Yes, I like What are your personal expectations for the team this year? Uh, to come in and show off my skills and show that I have improved from high school to college. How as a team do you plan to make up for the loss of um, Car Carmelo? Huh? How do you have any special plans on how you're going to make up for the loss of Carmelo? No, I don't have any special plans. How do you like the team so far? I like it a lot. Um, what kind of prep work have you had for the season already? I'm trying to get into the um, whole position of playing with um, a new team, um, getting used to the players. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. I believe by that. You know, I believe like Craig, King, you know what I'm saying, some Josh Page, Billy, you know what I'm saying, people that, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> better vocally than me because I'm not going to talk too much, you know what I'm saying, they're better. So obviously, Craig was a captain last year and he'll probably maintain that. You being a senior now, do you have any hopes of, of maybe being honored with something like that too? Uh, I don't know, I don't even want to do I just want to lead like just how I said, just work, I'll work hard and hopefully they'll watch that. But, you know what I'm saying, I work hard, I won't complain about nothing. So those two aspects, they can, I can leave by that because, you know what I'm saying, if they want to watch, they can watch and learn from that. But me telling people what to do and stuff, I leave that to Craig. <laughs> you, you and Craig last year split things so even. I mean, I think you averaged 19 minutes, he averaged 18, something like that. Is that what you're expecting again? Is that what you want I again? I don't know what, whatever happened, happened. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, I ain't complaining. You know what I'm saying? I work hard, this summer, he work hard. Now, whatever happened, man. Did you put on more weight? Uh, I'm like 256 right now. Well, I could run, you know what I mean? So, so what, what were you at this time last year? I was down to like, I want to say like, somewhere between 250 and 245. So you're about the same. Uh, not too different. But you're faster, you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I can still run. Like, I'm in some pretty good shape. I think jo Josh Pace beat me in the shoulder run by like two seconds. Really? And one other guard, man, beat me. Have you been impressed with the uh, senior freshmen so far? They are they all, all for me, really, really good. Oh, you're on the national scene. You got there last year. Do you think that when you play new teams this year that they're going to be looking out for Jeremy McNeil? No, I think they even worry about the whole team. Right. This is me. Um, how many blacks are you expecting this year? Do you have any hope? I uh, hope to beat what I had last year. Um, all right. Um, do you guys have any questions? How as a senior do you feel you can try and, you know, live off your junior year and make this one extra special? Just trying to repeat this thing. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm sure everyone's asking you, but do you see another, uh, fi at least a trip to the Final Four this year? No, yeah, I believe. I'm saying we did it last year. Nobody, we weren't even ranked last year. So. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got a good team. We got uh, our freshmen are good. And everybody else here last year like, got better in our area. Okay, all right. Well, thank you and thank good you luck. Very much. They might be a little more athletic than we were, so you know uh, they're a talented group. But you know to, to compare classes right now is unfair. Who has the best chance to start? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a coach. Uh, you know, I just play. I, that's up to coach. Jerry, yeah. so few teams in college basketball have repeated. I mean, is that a goal of this team? Are you going to be disappointed if you don't repeat? You know, that's a goal every year is to win a national championship. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a disappointment if, if we don't win it. But, you know, 
you got to move forward and work to the next year. So, you know, the goal every year is to win a national championship. After such an outstanding freshman year, are you hoping to match those numbers or beat them? Beat them. You know, uh, you have to improve every year, and that's my goal right now is just improve as a as a team and as a you know individually. So, you know, I'm looking forward to have a little bit better year, and you know, hopefully help the team a little more. Jerry, is this your team or Keith's team? It's our team. You know, uh, someone asked me that before. It's it's Jeremy's team over any. He's our senior, so you know, uh, you know, it's our team. I think Jeremy can be a vocal leader like Beth was last year. You know, Jeremy's not real outspoken. You know, if you interview him, he just kind of sits there. But, you know, uh, it's funny. He he's he's always the one in, in our pickup games to, to say things. And you know, uh, it's he's he's changed a lot over the last year since you know his, his mother and, and you know being a senior now. He's he's stepping into that that leadership role. He saw what Quet did, and you know, uh, I think he could be that leader. What have you seen in Josh's jump shot that's changed from last year at all, if anything? He makes a lot more. I don't, you know, uh, I haven't seen, you know, I don't know what he's been, been doing with that little hitch he has, but I know he's making a lot more shots. After such a phenomenal last year, how could you make this year even more special? Winning it again, you know, uh, just helping us, you know, individually helping us get back there, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, if we win it again, that's, that's how I, you know, that's how I do it. Do you have any ideas who will be your um, biggest competitors in the league this year? UConn is, you know, in my mind, the best team in the country. You know, without a doubt, they they just pounded us twice last year. It wasn't even, you know, we got embarrassed. I don't really want to talk about it. So. <laughs> All right, we won't push you anymore. <laughs> but uh, UConn, you know, in my mind, is definitely number one. How do you think you'll do fulfilling Carmelo's absence? You know, I think we'll be all right. You know, we have a lot of guys that didn't. You know, play up to their capabilities last year. You know, we had so many talented guys that when all of us were on the court together, you know, we kind of held back. And I think, you know, Hakeem and Billy and, you know, just we have so many athletic guys that are going to do a lot this year. What do you think of Carmelo coming back this week and you decided to see him play again? Absolutely. You know, I want to see him play in the NBA. You know, I haven't seen, I've been watching Sports Center every night and I, I keep missing the clips. So, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing him in person. How do you think he's going to do against the, the tougher competition? He'll do fine. You know, uh, He'll probably have 23 or something like that. I know he's, from what I hear, he's been around 19, 20 points every game. So, you know, coming back home, I think he'll, he'll add a little more. Jerry, is there any way this season can live up to last year's? If we win it again, you know, that's the only way. You know, uh, last year was storybook, and, you know, we have most of our guys back, but, you know, we're missing a couple of key guys. So, you know, hopefully if we do it again, it'll be the same. Talk about it in games. It seems like in between run, just more of a focused team effort to stay through those little lulls in between runs. Now that you don't have a guy you can lean on like that. Well, you know, uh, Keem's the guy we can lean on too. You know, he's, he's not too bad himself. So, you know, we have a lot of great guys. Carmelo's gone. You know, we can't worry about him being gone. We can't say it enough. It's, he's not here anymore. You know, uh, it's a different team. After college, do you see yourself going to the NBA or? Maybe in three years, you know, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere early, so, you know, hopefully, you know, that's the goal. And still want it again? It's not too hard, because if you come out and get smoked once, then, you know, uh, you, you'll be home pretty quick, so, you know, you have to, you have to be ready to go, and I think, you know, uh, for the most part, we all, we all know what it's about, we're all ready to go. You think coach is going to be harder or easier on you? This year, harder. Uh, I think he has reason to, you know. Uh, especially me, you know. Last year I was a freshman. Now it's a little different. I have experience. You know, he probably wanted to ease me into a, you know, the spot, especially with Billy being out early. So, you know, I think this year is going to be a lot harder. Are you and Billy going to be the starting backcourt? Yeah, you know, uh, Billy's going to play a lot more one this year. I'll play a lot more two. So, you know, it'll be, uh, you know, a good combination because either either of us can run a, run an offense. What are your personal expectations for yourself then? If you're, you get the two, you, Billy gets a chance to drive in the lane, get you some open shots, what are you looking for from yourself? Uh, you know, I don't really, I'm not, there's not a certain number, you know, I'm just looking to, you know, play well and help the team. I think, you know, especially with Billy being on the point is, is going to help me a lot, you know, getting open shots. You know, even if you can tell when we play pickup how, how many more shots I get just from Billy penetrating. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be fun to watch. The fact that Billy now has had, he had a half season under him now, but going through that tournament run, getting that experience, do you feel that playing with him now, he finally has two feet firmly on the ground and he feels comfortable? Yeah, I think so. I think it took him a while to adjust, and it should. You know, uh, that's a tough, tough thing to do, you know, come back like that. And, you know, the way he played at the end of the year spoke volumes of what, what type of person he was. So, 
you know, I think he's going to have a great year because he's, he's starting off, you know, with the, whole, with the team this time. He's starting off from day one. It seems we just got a glimpse of him last year. Have we, I think have so. Have we really seen – we haven't really seen the no, real – No, you haven't. Billy's one of the – you know, he's probably the best point guard I've ever seen. You know, uh, the way he, he gets his teammates involved is, you know, is very rare. You don't find too many people. It's, these days it's – you know, point guards are shoot first, so, you know, Billy's unbelievable the way he gets people involved. Talk about the depth of this team. Yeah. You know, it's going to be fun to watch, especially, you know, these new guys have a lot of talent. And, uh, you know, Terrence is explosive. Demetri is a great shooter. Terrence can jump out of the, dim, the gym. and Or uh, Mookie, Daryl, can dump, jump out of the gym. And uh, Louis is a great guard, so, you know, it should be fun. What about team chemistry? I know last year when you were a freshman, you and the other freshmen seem to bond so quick with not only yourselves but the rest of the team. Have you ever seen the same thing again? With them, yeah, with the freshmen especially. You know, uh, the way they've come together. You know, they were up here all summer by themselves because we all went first session. They had to come second session. So you know, uh, they're they're a close group. And you know, once we got up here for school, you know, they're, they're a great group of kids. It's easy to get along. Thanks, sure. Jerry. Come on. I'm going to get away from the basketball talk for a second. How did it feel to go back to Scranton? It's fun. You know, it's always fun to go home and, you know, especially see family and friends, you know, uh, and with a ring on your finger, it makes it that much better. I'm going to interrupt, too. What about playing golf this summer? I heard you're up at Drummond's you're a little tremendous bit. <laughs> a little bit. I took Coach Hop, you know. Now, uh, I, uh, you know, I golfed a lot this summer. You know, uh, it's, it's relaxing for me. It's easy to get away from me. It's easy? No, oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you that. <laughs> it's not, that's not an easy game. It's easy to go just to get away. And you enjoy drum rolls this summer? Yeah, it was fun. You play on the well manicured course or the? Nah, uh, I'm a public. Yeah, no fairways. I'm a public. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. There you go, What's up? You were just beat up by uh, Mike Hopkins. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's my day-to-day -day job. Well, as a freshman, they won a national championship. Can you take credit for that? Uh, I believe so. I think I was highly responsible. Uh, I beat Mel one-on-one -on -one and uh, made him better. What so, would like to say to the students at ESM? Say, uh, keep, keep rocking. Keep it up. Uh, we had a question. Do you think you could win a slam dunk competition in the NBA? Uh, nah, I don't think I can win a slam dunk competition in the NBA. Uh, beat Carmelo? Yeah, I could beat Carmelo, but... The guy, I just saw a couple of the don'ts they did, and it's just crazy. Swat him. How about looking ahead in the end, day, would you like to play with Carmelo again? Oh, yeah, that'd be great uh, if I had a chance to play with Carmelo again in the NBA. But uh, right now, I'm just trying to focus on winning another national championship. And if I just happen to uh, make it to the NBA uh, when I'm done playing here, then. Hypothetically, let's say you make it there. You play against Carmelo. Do you take Oh, it's going. It's going to be a good matchup. We all, we always go at each other uh, in practice. Uh, it'll be good. I know there's going to be a lot of hype behind the two former Syracuse players playing against each other. But uh, I'll just go out there, and I know he's going to try to play his best, and I'm going to just try to play my best. Any more questions? Nah. No. <laughs> we should start out like psycho with this.
I think that was a good feeling to you know, finally be on the positive side just for me personally after all I had went through. But um, like I said, my teammates always, you know, were there for me and helped me through everything. So that's why I think, like I said, we're such a close knit bunch. And uh, just anticipate the next season coming, you know, obviously it's not on there, so we still got a lot to do. So I've always been really excited about that. But it was crazy because people used to come up to me that cared about me like, yeah. Somebody told me that you something, something, something with a class, and I'm like, yeah, I got an A. Like, <laughs> why are they making that up? But you know. the, the other stuff, the, the freshman year stuff, is that is that totally behind you? Do you still have people bringing it up sometimes, or is it still something you have to deal with? I mean, I guess it's never going to go to away totally. I mean, it's just like how up until before this summer, people always would say how great Kobe is, and Kobe is this, and he's just a great person, number one jersey, so that now all of a sudden people acting like they don't know him. So, I mean, it just goes to show how people will flip it on you. I mean, if you know Kobe as a person, he's a good guy, you'll be able to vouch for him and say all the things you said before. But now I see so many people flipping him, so, and ju quick to judge him about him and his wife, that's between them. I mean, guys in America, like I said, do you know cheat? So it's that whole type of thing, but I think it's behind me. I'm not, you know, somebody wants to say something, man, I gotta let it go. Sam, I was afraid to score a goal and I'm not going to get it on camera. Good job. Yes. All right, go, go, go. Go. Oh. 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 Oh